Welcome to the first ever States Against Humanity March Madness playoff game. Somehow these two states tied. So they're both fourth seeds and we need to do something about that immediately. So I'm going to cover stories from both of these states and I'm gonna give you 48 hours to vote. I'm gonna do my best to put up a poll in this TikTok but I'm also gonna do a Google Forms that's in my link tree, and then we'll see who's going to be the actual fourth seed matching up with number one seed Alabama. Starting first with Iowa, there's a bill that would cap the amount that traveling nurses can receive from their travel nurse agencies. This is a big problem because Iowa faces a huge permanent nursing shortage, so they oftentimes use traveling nurses to fill in. At 70% of hospitals and facilities are struggling to find care. So this is a big problem. A lot of times the travel nurse agencies are taking some of the funds that the nurses would be getting. And so the proponents of the bill are like, listen, this is a way for us to make sure that we're saving taxpayers dollars, like as much as $10 million a year. And, and their point of view is we can take that money and we can put it right back into patient health care. Bill would make the payment cap at 150% and nurses are already weighing in saying this is a really big problem because we have enough problems trying to incentivize people to come work in the state of Iowa. What are you doing? Like please pay them well. Meanwhile, I see this headline, five Iowa care facilities are cited for abuse related violations and um, it's not great. One of the care facilities was cited $500, which seems like an absurdly low amount, for failing to inform the Department of Inspections that there had been SA at their facility. One of the CNAs was fired for having sex with one of the cognitively impaired patients, but this was never this was never told to the department of inspections and here's my thing why are we why are we capping nurses salaries in a state that's having problems like this like, it seems like you would want to incentivize the best people to come work for the state okay mm? okay so of course i got into my shower and started washing my hair and remembered this one thing that i had to tell you about iowa i thought these things were both equally horrific and you needed to know and as you'll soon realize on this channel i love you all so much but i am not I'm not doing my hair and makeup for you after I've already gotten the shower, sorry. Or let's be real, probably ever. So evidently, victims of rape in Iowa haven't received compensation for their emergency contraceptives and abortions for like a long time. And when they asked the attorney general, Brenna Bird, hey, like when are people gonna get their monies? She's like, well, there's this victim services audit that's underway and it hasn't been completed yet. Tell me why this audit has been ongoing since January of 2023, ma'am. It is, it is March of 2024. That is a whole year and several months. So that's not great. But now you can hear about this terrible stuff in Georgia. So as a former teacher, you know that I have opinions on school voucher programs or school choice programs. But the fact that the South Carolina House just approved a universal school choice bill before the pilot program has even taken place, like what's happening here? South Carolina Republicans, like most Republicans, love these school voucher programs because it enables families to take taxpayer dollars, $6,000, and apply it to any type of private school that they want their children to attend. This would include religious schools. But isn't there something like the First Amendment and the Establishment Clause? Wouldn't that violate that? This is why the program is going to the Supreme Court, the South Carolina Supreme Court, to determine if it's even constitutional. Now, before this program has even been implemented, they want to expand the voucher program to include every single student in the state of South Carolina. Every single South Carolina Democrat in the House voted against this bill. And do you know why they voted against this bill? Because voucher programs are inherently classist and racist. In almost all situations, the amount of funding that the families would receive is not enough for the student to go to private school. And if that private school doesn't have some sort of scholarship program to subsidize the difference, then those types of families can't apply for these programs. They can't use these programs. And private schools decide to pick what kind of students they want and whether or not they match the demographics that fit that particular uh, private school. I mean, some like diversity and inclusion, but are they in South Carolina? School voucher programs deflect from the fact that public schools are not receiving enough funding and enough support. And that's intentional, right? Because Republicans want 
public school to fail. They want to privatize education. That's been their goal. It's very clear. And that's because then they can they can teach whatever they want, right? They can they can eliminate entire sections of history, which a lot of schools in a lot of states are already doing. Scholarship programs like this one that take taxpayer dollars and give them to parents who can then send their children to religious schools is absolutely absurd. Like, I can't believe we're talking about this in 2024. But we are. And so I need you to decide whether or not number four seed South Carolina or number four seed Iowa should be the actual number four seed team that goes on to match up against number one seed Alabama. I know that there are a tremendous number of other atrocities that these states have committed, and I don't have time to get to them because this is a playoff situation. Um, so talk about it amongst yourselves. I will like the comments that I know are factually based, okay? So if somebody puts some sort of statistic down or something about a law or whatever, I'll make sure the ones that are legit, I will like and you'll know, and then you can go vote. Hopefully there will be a poll attached to this that you can vote here, but if not, I have put the Google form um, in my bio, right? The link there, so you can find it there, okay? 48 hours, go team, go.